Hi all, I'm Ryan and I'm back in the garage. I'm waiting for deliveries. They haven't arrived yet, so that's going to hold up what I can do on the back end of the bike. I've got a little bit of time, so I'm just going to see what I can do in other areas of the bike that I can just move forward slowly. So, a couple of things I'm going to try and make some progress on this week. Um, this front brake hose, um, front brake works perfectly, but the hose sticking out to the side here um, is definitely not ideal. It's not an easy question of just moving it. I'll show you that in a minute, but I'm going to look at this and see if I can improve that layout somehow. I've got no gear change yet. I've got no foot pegs yet. Um, I might have some stuff in stock that I can reuse. So I'm just going to play with these areas and just make a little progress whilst I'm waiting. So I've been rummaging through my parts bins of old stuff and I thought I'd struck gold because I found an old footrest. But it's the wrong style. This is the footrest that fits the longer version of this side, which I've got on the Super Dream. But this clearly needs a slightly different shape that keys into this shape here Otherwise, there's nothing stopping that from just swinging down. So I don't think I can use this footrest on this bike, which means I'm going to have to go back to the uh, back to the shopping shopping list and see if I can find something that I can either modify or find something that fits this, which is probably an old CB250T, I think. I'd have to look that up. Um, so that's not going to work for me. Uh, however, if you watched last week, I bought a load of 40 mil hex uh, bolts uh, in error, and um, straight away this week, that fits in there perfectly. So I've used one of those straight away. Now, I need to try and get a gear change on this. Uh, I'm gonna search my kit. I'm sure I've got an old one somewhere kicking about. Let's see what we can find. So yeah, found a gear change which poses an interesting question because that clearly that's not going to help me in the slightest so it needs to come forward somehow i'm not sure it's going to clear the case so maybe i'd need a different style but again the distance between that gear change and that footrest i think i'm gonna to have to put my foot on it and give that a try might need a shorter gear change possibly so measure that up see what it looks like but um yeah, don't think what I've got is going to do the job for me, which is a shame, but predictable. Okay, so for now I've put that footrest on there, and actually with it tightened up, it might be okay, or maybe I can modify that slightly. So I'm considering that, but either way, that's the position of the footrest. So, taking a foot, thank you spare foot, that is pretty much where... I need the gear change to be sort of approximately there somewhere. So I might have to resort back to this super dream method, which is taking a gear chain, gear selector, and actually mounting it off of here with a linkage. Okay, so that would be the sort of layout I was looking for. So that would have to have a bar protruding out the top and then connect back to here. Um, so what I'm, if you can't imagine it, what I'm thinking I might have to do is go something much closer to the standard Super Dream setup, which is like this arrangement here. So you've actually got the gear selector off of the same bolt as the footrest with this little adaption. I could do either way I don't think that I can go from that gear change point to a footrest there without some form of very strange maybe a bespoke maybe very short gear change but then will that short change if I could create such a thing 
operate because you need the leverage to change the gears. More thought needed here, methinks. So I've been thinking more and more about this. Firstly, what I've done is I've measured the distance between the footrest and the gear selector on the Honda Transalp, which is standard, and the Super Dream, which is standard, and they're both about 17 centimeters. So that's, I think, the distance I need approximately between the peg and the gear change. So this is about right ergonomically, but it's not really easily going to work for me. So what I'm thinking is if I change the peg, so the peg is instead of being kicked back is in line with that bolt and then measure forwards, that would give me the length of gear change I would need. I think I'm going to explore that idea for a minute. So the more I look at this, I know that's the wrong way around, but if I was to have a foot peg there, at least in line with that, possibly straight out of here, so that would require some modification, I would need a slightly shorter than standard gear lever that comes out quite a way, comes to about there. And I was looking at this, I've looked online, they're all the same, they're all the same length, so there's clearly a universal standard. And then I noticed that this is just still. So that can be bent, it can be cut, it can be welded, I think. Okay, I reckon that gives me some potential here. I've got no problems with destroying this. So, why don't I try modifying it? Heating it up, bending it, cutting it, welding it, see what I can do. It's worth a go. Well, having bigged up the challenge of changing the profile of this, I just stuck it in a vice and pulled on it, and it bent like it was made of butter. Um, that now, you can see, follows the contours of this quite nicely, and gear changes work and the distance from the center of there to there is like 18 centimeters so whilst it's not exactly what I was after there's my boot and that is perfectly acceptable so the challenge has simply gone back to the footrest and that's obviously I mean that this one's meant to be rotated up and round Okay, so pausing on this for the moment, I think I've got a plan. Brake. So this brake line sticks out to the side, which clearly isn't right. And there's a cutout on the top here that potentially this pipe can sit in, into, but there isn't one underneath there. So potentially, I could just cut out a little bit of that material there. Then I think this would swing down. And I think if it swung down, so it was actually against this, that would probably help the situation. But I don't know if it's this solution. I'm going to try and put it up here where it looks like it should naturally go. See what result that gives me, because I can't picture it in my head at the moment. Um, the other alternative, maybe, is I've got another complete brake line, which knackered old fittings on it, but I think the line itself is a bit shorter and it's got different angled ends on it. Maybe that would help me. Not sure. Let me just play with this first and see if I can improve it without changing anything. And then I'll see. Don't know. Really not sure what to do yet. Well, the decision to fit this pipe was made very, very easy. Um, it's block solid. I can't pass any air through it. So, um, yeah, no, that'll be going in a bin. Um, that's unfortunate because those connectors, those angles, looked like that was going to work for me. 
So, don't know what to think about that. Maybe I will try and order a similar connection to this, which I'm not sure what that came off of though. I might compare it to what's on the Super Dream. Okay, that's pretty much how I'm gonna finish off for now. So look, I've just quickly cable tied the brake line. So it's actually better, as in sort of slightly out of the way, but clearly not a long-term solution. Continued messing about with this exhaust that I'm trying to mock up. Look, I think if I put a shield, a, 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 yeah, some, some shielding there where my leg would be, I think that would certainly help the situation. Um, and then I just need to connect this here. So I need a fairly tight connection. And I, I think that route can work for me. I'm still believing there's a solution there. I've just ordered up some foot, uh, foot pegs, which are actually going to be bolted in here in line with that bolt. So that will just move this peg forward by about uh, 40 mil, which will then bring it roughly to the distance that I need between there and the gear change. So I think that will work for me. And now that gear change is bent out, uh, it clears. Um, and so no problems so I appreciate I haven't really done a, anything significant so look that's how I'm going to finish off for this week um, if you get anything at all from watching someone in a garage who's never built a bike before giving it a go please like and subscribe um, watch me with my challenges and I'll see you again next week bye for now